All right, I am not looking forward to seeing what will be on this scale. Oh, God. Whew. That one hurts. Hello, internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi, and I'm on a weight loss journey and a YouTube journey. Uh, sorry, my throat is still a little jacked up. If you're not new here, you might have seen Friday's episode and yesterday's. Uh, so here's what happened. I was nervous about trying a new thing. I was like, okay, yeah, a little alcohol, loosen up the vocal cords, get my brain relaxed to do this. I'd say by the second hour of recording stuff and thinking it was pretty good and then losing all of it, I started just not giving a fuck anymore. Not when it came to my alcohol consumption or the quality of the video that I was putting out. By 2 a.m. I hit upload and called it a day and I haven't even made it through the whole video myself because it is embarrassing as hell. It's not a cute, not cute look. I am disappointed in how I handled dealing with the new situation, but also I'm a little bit grateful for it. It has made me realize something very important. So while the idea of doing commentary on the foods I cook is a really great idea for someone who is cooking on a weight loss journey and showing you guys the meals constantly, I never sat down and thought about how that would look. I said that day I'm going to do it and I just went for it and I royally messed up. That has been the running theme of all my videos so far. I keep finding this path I wanna take and then veering off into like a field of wildflowers where there's all these options. And I'm just like, oh, look here, look here. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. And I have strayed away from the most important part of what I wanted to do, which was vlog my weight loss journey and upload every day. Instead, I'm throwing out parodies, commentary, nutrition facts, just random shit every day <laughs> because I thought a daily vlog didn't need structure. It just needed to record my day. That's not true. That couldn't be further from the truth. At the end of the day, this vlog is still a storytelling video. It tells you the story of my day and every story has to have structure. It has to have a beginning, middle and end to each episode. Haven't been doing that. I have basically been building the weirdest amusement park on top of crappy foundation. I never sat down and took the time to be like, this is the core of my channel. Okay, I'm a weight loss journey. That's a core. Okay, I'm gonna vlog every day. That's a core. What does daily vlogging mean? Uh, I know that I go grocery shopping on certain days. I know every month I do a self-care Sunday where I bleach my teeth and put on special eye patches. Do I show you guys that? Do I do get readies with me? Do I show you clothing that I bought? Do I do food prep with you guys? Do I bring you with me when I'm cleaning? Do I not? How many times do you need to see me making coffee in the morning? I never sat down and thought about this. So while the days in my week have structure, what I'm choosing to record has zero structure. Zero. It's kind of like how I feel in the moment. Just throwing a new attraction in on this theme park, waiting for everything to come crashing down. And that is what you saw Thursday. The idea was great, the execution was bad, and it was the final feature that came crashing down. So now I have an idea for my 100th episode. I'm going to tell you guys what the new structure is going to be. Because obviously I need to take some time and think about it because I never have before. Am I trying to be a teacher? Am I trying to be the protagonist? This is all stuff in a story that I need to know if I'm going to convey it to you or not. And yes, this is supposed to be real and authentic and I need to understand what that means for this as well. Am I turning on the camera every time I feel a certain way or about to cry? Or do I let the feelings ruminate and I try and tell you guys concisely how I feel in a thought out process? Haven't thought about that. Just clicked on the camera and said go. <laughs> and frankly, both ways would be genuine. It's just how would I tell the story? Just because it's a story doesn't mean it's made up. It's just a good way of telling you guys, this is my day. I feel like you guys would enjoy it a lot more and me needing structure is definitely a thing. Definitely need structure. Also need to mention that I have always planned to add on a second part to the journey, which is stop using nicotine. I have one of these packs left. Should last me a week. I was gonna announce that a week from now that I'm also going to add that on. Um, but since I'm telling you guys the plans for what I'm about to do, I might as well add that on and let you guys know. 
Uh, I can't be on a health journey and still be consuming nicotine and alcohol in copious amounts. Alcohol is going to have to cut way back because I obviously did not pay attention. The two week thing, I think that's great, but I just kept sneaking it in. Oh, I had a bad day because my period started again. Oh, we found a new lump on pumpkin's neck. You know, just uh, little excuses. Oh, I'm recording something and it's making me nervous. And I did buy a small one, but there was still alcohol in the house. And so I just was like, oh, gonna drink more. Sounds like a great idea. It was not, it, it was definitely not a good idea. Oh, my throat is killing me too. Nine hours of talking. I'm an introvert. The most I do in a day is like two. Also should have realized when it was time for me to stop. Did not pay attention to that. Now I'm dealing with it. And I'm dealing with the added weight from drinking too much and overeating yesterday. So now I have to fast to get to my goal. <sighs> I've honestly always enjoyed the fact that I go into things and just go, okay, we're gonna, the only way for me to understand what I need to work out is going into it and doing it. And I would not have changed that part of my journey whatsoever because it's what I need to figure this out. But now that I have figured it out, I have done it enough, I see where the issues lie. Now I can tell you, this is, this is what it needs to do. <laughs> I mean, if I had any advice for anyone else, it would be, you know, learn from my mistake, but some people just need to make that mistake. And you know, I honestly have been watching so many videos about what you should do as a video structure. You need a hook in the first five seconds. You need to know what your role is in your videos. You need to know if you're taking them on a journey, lots of stuff, lots of stuff, but I could never find anything specific to vlogging. And so I thought, they're just really not telling me anything that will help me. That is incorrect, they were telling me. I just wasn't seeing how it was fitting into a vlog because in my head, vlogging is just recording you doing your stuff. Nope, the first five seconds should tell you what the overall theme of the day is. When you're editing, when you're recording, all of that should be very concise from the very beginning. Like I know Thursdays are my house cleaning day. That should just be a video around cleaning the house. You guys will know what to expect. I will know what to expect. It won't be just some random half-ass shit thrown into a video and hoped for the best and then expecting great results. I can do great new thumbnails, I think, to be determined. I can restructure the way I'm titling stuff. I can make it more clickable, but if you're clicking on it and it's just some random stuff with no storyline and even I am confused and frustrated on what I'm doing, it's not gonna be a story that you wanna watch, especially if I'm getting drunk and stupid in them. So here's the thing. Until I figure out exactly what the structure is, how I wanna do a storyline, these videos are gonna be short. The goal has always been five to 10 minutes at most videos because how much can you guys watch of me just standing here talking and not be like, why am I listening to this chick? There are so many options out there. So today I believe is day 91. Congratulations, Michelle. It has taken you 91 days to figure out that you need structure. It's all right, at least I figured it out. So for the remaining nine days, these videos are gonna be a bit short because I don't know what the structure is. I'm just gonna show you guys a bit of my day, not talk too much and really focus in on the things I need to be doing, finding out my routine, finding out basically my mission statement, breaking down each thing. And then if I have a new idea, I know what segment it can go into and how to properly utilize that new idea. Maybe I do wanna do something totally off the wall because I do like parodies and I have a completely new idea for a parody. That is fine, once a month, once a month most. I don't need to be confusing you guys. I don't need to be confusing me. I definitely am going to do more of that commentary stuff on top of food. I, I want that to be part of the weekly thing where I am doing my food prep and talking. I just have to get better at it and not drink alcohol while doing it. And also that way, like if I come up with an idea for like, oh, protein week or cucumber week, first off, I'm gonna space them out a little bit more. Second off, I've always wanted you guys to be able to do these things with me, like in the future, if you choose. So I will create a grocery list and tell you what my meal plans are and you can skip those or whatever, but I always thought that was a great idea. If I had put more planning into it, it would have been done the way I envisioned it. But nope, I was like, no, it's daily vlog. I gotta get this done, get this done. And then I find myself having nothing to talk about the next day. It doesn't all have to be in one day. I can stagger it out a bit. I just need to learn these things, put it into practice. And hopefully by the hundredth episode, I will know what that looks like. 
So those of you who have been enjoying my content, it's still gonna be the same kind of content. It's just gonna be a lot more structured. I'm gonna be able to give you better B-roll because I know, hey, today I'm doing meal prep. There's some B-roll spots that would look great, but I am always frantically trying to figure it out in the moment. I'd say because of all the recording I've done, I have figured out 80% of what I want. And it's just like weight loss. Uh, that last 20% is gonna be a bitch to fine tune. Uh, you have to put in more effort than that first 80%. And that is what I need to do. I need to put in more effort, more consideration and time into this. Sorry it took me so long to figure out. Thank you to those who have stuck with me throughout all this. Please continue to suggest stuff. If I have a structure down, I will know where to put the suggestions in and not just randomly throw it in a, in a day and it can be done well. Yeah, I think that's about it. Look, I mean, this video wasn't structured. This was me realizing something, telling you guys it, and then the plan to go through with it. So, gonna be working on that. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll see you again tomorrow.